This is the solution video for section 9.4, problem number 8. The limit as x approaches 0 from the right of the natural log of sine of x over the natural log of sine of 2x. All right, so first thing, okay, we want to evaluate at 0. So natural log of the sine of 0. Well, the sine of 0 is 0, so the natural log of 0 is undefined. But remember, the natural log function looks like this, right? So if we're approaching 0 from the right, we're actually approaching negative infinity, right? So the numerator would be negative infinity. The denominator would also be negative infinity. So L'Hopital's rule applies. And so what would we have to say? We would have to say that uh, the natural log of the sine of x and the natural log of the sine of 2x are continuous and differentiable as x approaches 0 from the right. Now remember, we can't actually reach 0 for this particular problem because we're approaching from the right. It's not an overall limit question. All right. And so then we would need to state um, that the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of just the natural log of sine x is negative infinity, and the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of the natural log of the sine of 2x is also negative infinity. Therefore, we're going to use L'Hopital's rule. So the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of the natural log of sine x over the natural log of the sine of 2x is equal to, according to L'Hopital's rule, the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of 1 over sine x over 1 over sine of 2x times the derivative of the sine of 2x, which is cosine of 2x times 2. All right, so now the key here is understanding that we can simplify. All right, so I'm going to use a double angle identity. So limit as x approaches 0 from the right of 1 over sine x over, so now I have 2 cosine 2x over, now I'm going to use a double angle identity for sine 2x, which is 2 sine x cosine x. So now this sine x and this sine x reduce, and then the 2s reduce, and so I'm left with the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of 1 over, um, oh, I'm sorry, over here it should be 1 over sine x times the derivative of sine, which is cosine x, right? So there is a cosine x left in the numerator, right? I apologize, times cosine x. So cosine x over cosine 2x over cosine x. So now if I evaluate cosine of 0 is 1 over cosine of 0 is 1 over 1, and so I get 1. 